With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. In the very competitive Region 7, the Bowman County boys basketball team earned the number one seed. The Bulldogs won 18 of their 20 games heading into the tournament, which started today in Hazen. They're also ranked fifth in the final poll. Kildeer won a first round game, and that's the first matchup. Pick this one up, second quarter. Owen Schleppenbach working his way inside, a little step back off the glass. Kildare up by 12 at the half, looking to shake the region up with a win here. In the third, Bowman County would work all the way back, though. Bowden Duffield picks up the loose ball, goes in, plus the foul. That made it 53-52, tied after three quarters now. So we're into the fourth. The Bulldogs jump out in front, but if your name is Cooper Bang, that's a good thing for shooting threes, and that puts Kildare back in front, but Bowman County scored when it needed. It's Bowden Duffield again. He converts and Bowman County wins it by the final of 88 to 82. So Bowman County survives the first round scare. The four and five seeds are next and this one should be a good one. It's Hazen against Glen Allen Hebron. Down multiple scores in just minutes. The Bearcats storm back. Canyon Unruh creates some space for himself on the bench side corner. Then in the first, still in the first, it's Benjamin Hosman off to Damon Gerving. Gerving left alone for the easy two. Gladolin Hebron has the luxury of a big guy. That's 6'8", Will Mickelson. They utilize him right here as he sheds that defender. But then Hazen made a big push late in the half. It's Talon Badke with just a second left on the clock. Sinks the buzzer beater and Hazen would say Sink the Bearcats and win it by the final of 74 to 58. Well, the top seed in Region 5 is the number four ranked team in Class B. Shiloh Christian has won the region 10 times in the last 13 years. New Salem Elmont after the upset in the first round. The Holstein's top scoring option is Wyatt Kuhn. And they go to him down low. It's a seven point Skyhawks lead. Shiloh Christian, though, has the inside advantage in this game. Atticus Wilkinson posting up and scoring down low. Wilkinson is covered up this time, but it's out to Wyatt Weston. Weston works into the lane as Shiloh Christian would score big in the second half and win at 65 to 33. Wilton Wing and Washburn, the four and five seeds, they're up next. And it's usually a pretty good game when these two uh, seeds like this get together. Trey Koski steals the rebound, goes to Hunter Wolf, and the Miners are up by six. Out of a timeout, though, Washburn hits a couple of threes. Parker Jacobson, he lines it up and knocks it down. Remember this freshman's name because Jacobson would do it again here, and the game was close most of the way. Wilton Wing, though, would work it inside to Koski. Koski scores here, but the reason I said remember Jacobson, check out the final score. 67-66, the freshman with a game-winning three with about a second left. I don't know if Dan Carr's illustrious career will end after this season, but the all-time winningest basketball coach in North Dakota history is a win away from 800. The Lions played the Lobos at Region 3. It went into overtime, and Dan Carr got number 800 by one point over the Lobos, 51-50. to The first game in Region 3, which is being played over in Jamestown, it was uh, the Thunder from Manina PB over Carrington. One point or ten is still a win. It's right. All right, thanks. We'll be right back after this.